Let's take a look at multiplying rational functions. Uh, in order to multiply rational functions, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to factor uh, all the fractions, all of the rational functions. So let's factor everything. Factor all the things. And so if I factor my first rational expression here, uh, this is going to be x plus 9 times x minus 6. And that's all over x plus 9. And this is being multiplied by x minus 3 all over x plus 7 and x minus 6. All right, so that's step one. Check. Uh, and then just like before, we want to, now that we factored everything, let's state all restrictions. So in this case, my restrictions would be that x cannot equal, let's see, what would make the denominators equal 0? Uh, I've got a denominator here, I've got a denominator here. Uh, x cannot equal the set of numbers uh, negative 9, negative 7, and 6. Setting each of these factors equal to 0 gets me those domain restrictions. Next up, let's, um, if we, well, we can think about this one of two ways. You can either think we're going to multiply them together and then reduce, uh, or we can make our lives easier, <clears throat> and we can just reduce right now. Any common factors in the numerator and the denominator, it doesn't matter which fraction they're in, I can reduce them. Just in the same way that, let's go sidebar over here, if I had 2 thirds times uh, 6 over 8, I could reduce pulling a 3 out of this denominator, to make that a 1, and a 3 out of this numerator to make that a 2. I could pull a, uh, a 2 out of this denominator to make that a 4, and a 2 out of this numerator to make that a 4, and I guess I could keep reducing like so and make this equal to 1 half. So there's nothing that says we have to multiply then reduce. In fact, it might be easier to reduce first. So let's do that. I can reduce by taking an x plus 9 out of the numerator and the denominator over here. And I can take an x minus 6 out of this denominator and an x minus 6 out of this denominator. Now, before you're tempted to reduce these x's here, remember those are not factors. The factor is x minus 3, that entire thing. And this factor is x plus 7. So what do I have left once I uh, reduce? I have x minus 3 all over x plus 7. And now let's state the restrictions. x cannot equal set of numbers negative 9, negative 7, and 6. And there's my solution. So why don't you try this example right here, pause the video, and then see how it goes. So here's my solution. I've uh, reduced and I have uh, found my restrictions. So check it out. Hopefully it went okay. Next up, we will divide these rational functions.